Attention all units, attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. Attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. We are changing from a Code 3 direct pursuit to a Code 347. Completely lost due to incompetence. Delicious again, Peter. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to the program. Uh, big night tonight. I'm going to tell you, thanks for tuning in to Manstradam. Uh, we're live, and we're here. And our, our you guys know Joel, and you know T, so we're going to get right to our special guest because we, we also have Louis Applebaum on the show tonight. Uh, the Louis! <laughs> yes. So Don uh, DeRusso here. Oh, uh, who Dawn. works? Not this Dawn, Dawn, that Don. I love that. Who works at the Pint Public House for since it's been open? Yes. Okay. And before that, the Wild Rover. The Wild Rover. So, how many years have you been bartending? Twenty-one. And that's it. Tonight's the tonight's the, tonight's the last night. Yeah, you can get a drink is. served to you by uh, Don DeRusso. Yeah, you She turns it. twenty-one. And it's over. And it's over. And you're wrapping it up tonight for good. I am for good. For, for good. For good? Yeah. For good. For good. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Just don't tell it my was... boss because I keep telling him I'm coming no, back. No, okay. Well, he's not even watching tonight, oh, so it's not even worry about but it. But it was always a pleasure to uh, be a customer of yours because of you, the way you talk and the way you serve. And, uh, you know, you always have a great smile. So that's number one. Oh, thank you, Doug. We're going to wait for Wednesday nights to come in and see you. Because you're the best of the best. Beautiful. I mean, take care of us. And, you know, the whole thing. Well, you got a blow-up doll at home with your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know what? That was a little bit sentimental. Yeah, and I almost good. cried yeah. until you just brought that yeah, up. Yeah, you have to. Now Wendell's in Santa. I'll yeah. tell you right you're now. You're blowing up dolls named Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, T, I'm going to fix your mic. John, should I, I fix it. T's mic? It's fine. Okay, everything's yeah, good. Yeah, I'm going to go. All right. John says it's good. Um... So, slinging drinks for 20, you say how many years? 21. 21, 21 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it, is it a heartfelt goodbye or? It's long coming. Really? Yes. I started in Boston and coming up to New Hampshire was definitely a transition, but I've grown to love it up here and um, it makes me sad a little bit that I'm leaving, but real estate is really kicking off. So, um, I've been doing that for 12 years and now it's full force and I can't be in two places at once, so it's time to hang up the drinks and start right. selling some houses. That's yeah. what uh, Billy LaForge said. I love Billy. Right? Oh, yeah. You worked with, Bill, Billy, you worked with uh, Billy, Billy for a long yeah, time. Yeah, eight years I worked with Billy. Oh, he yeah. was my favorite bartender there to ever work with. Exactly, right. for because sure. he's a mental case. He is a mental case. You yeah. have no idea what that man did to me behind the bar. I believe it. Yep, and yeah. I laughed every time he of opened course. his mouth. So. The thump, the rump, and a little <laughs> stump. Is really I'll tell you what, I've never made more money than working with that man. Exactly. For sure. You yep. know, thinking exactly. of Billy, Peter and I uh, met his wife at Magapalooza. And she no and no she, no that wasn't Billy no 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 we, Billy no, LaForge Billy's not married. married number one you're thinking oh. of Billy LaBerge oh okay yeah LaBerge yeah. will never be married but his girlfriend Tara is fantastic okay yeah he'd never be married oh okay. if he really? does it's a cold day in hell right there yeah but they're For having sure. fun together Billy and yes. Tara out in Seattle yes doing it up yeah, to Oregon, the max and he's Seattle, still bartending around. out there yeah it's fantastic yeah, he is. good for him yeah. and, uh, and he watches the show. So, you know, the hair thing, I mean, when you do hair, you can do hair anywhere. It's kind of like selling he real estate or slinging the, uh, drinks. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Billy watches the show here. He watches from Oregon. Or is it Seattle? Seattle. Because he, he was in Oregon uh, last week, I think, well, uh, according to his Facebook. I'm pretty sure it's Oregon, not yeah. Seattle. What's the big city in uh, Oregon? Portland. Portland. Portland, <laughs> Oregon? Yeah. That was Portland, Maine. Well, you're, that's there's because two. you're a New Englander. Uh, uh, well, there's two. There's two Portlands, T. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Even hey, the Moose don't know everything. Two Portlands, only one Boston. 
<laughs> so you have That's two awesome. kids. I, I, met, I met your great husband tonight, Kyle. Yes. Waiting for you at the party. Yeah, he fun. is. Ready yeah. to party in, uh, within he's, the next 15 minutes? Yes. He's definitely looking to party tonight, but he's looking forward to me being home before 3 o'clock in the morning. So Really? Yeah, yeah bittersweet. Well, yeah, it's yeah. tough to stay up till 3, and then it, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, you know. Who knows what happens after 3? What a yeah, nothing exactly. good happens after three. I don't think so. I do. We think just so. try to sleep. Yeah, because well, we, we have a three-year-old, so we try to yeah. sleep. Right, after you're very three tired a. for sure. So how has it been at the point from from going? Well, let me ask you this before uh, from going to the uh, Wild Rover mm -hmm. to the pint. How was that? It was actually a great transition. When I worked at the Rover, it was the place to be. We didn't have as much competition as there is today. But going to the Pint, um, it's across the street from the Rover. So all of the regulars that I had at the Rover followed me over to the Pint. So and it's been fantastic. And they're at it's, the Pint tonight. They are. Yes. yes. What a crew you had there. I know. Wow. Well, it was, yeah. yes, it's a lot of uh, friends and, and um, people that have been serving for years that I haven't seen in a long time. And they all knew it was my last night. So it's going to be a good night. I know That's Roy's cool. going to miss you so much. We're I, all going to miss yeah, you. We're gonna miss yeah, yeah, we're all going to miss you. We are. We're all going to miss you occasionally. Say, and, yeah. Yes, I can't say that I'm never going to come back because that's just crazy. I would never say that. Um, I just, right now, it's time. My son's going to high school in uh, the fall, and I want to spend some time with him and my daughter. And you Enjoy know, the transition yeah. and see where it brings you. Hey, someone say hi. Come down and say hi to the boys and have a... Oh, oh yeah, we're not, we're not saying Absolutely. Uh, we're, yeah. we're it's definitely. not like I'm dying, guys. I'll yeah. be around. Yeah, exactly. I, I'll, I'll be around. We're not... We're not vibrant. Yeah. We're not saying goodbye to you. That's for sure. Yeah, tonight. no, absolutely. We're friends on Facebook. I don't know if yep, you were with yep, these yep. guys. Don and I are friends. But yep. I've been following your, uh, your your real estate, and that's what you're moving on to. You're, yeah, you're, absolutely. It's been full, crazy full busy. Full force real estate. Another one under agreement today. So we have uh, nine under agreement. And, and, and it, uh, it's always things. real estate, isn't it? It's not like unreal estate. <laughs> it's not unreal estate. It's, it's always, always real, there. Yeah. And it is very real, especially when you are helping people buy the biggest purchase they're ever going to make. Right. Yeah. Hey, Manchester, if you're looking for a house or an apartment or a condo, name of the real estate agency. Coldwell Banker Classic Realty out of Hooksit, New Hampshire. And if you want to talk to... That's a yes. good... That well, Dawn really actually good. has her own uh, Facebook uh, uh, page. Business page, for a sure. A business page yeah. for yep. real estate. So I do. you can... What, what is that? It's under Don DeRusso. Um, it's Which is very Coldwell. hard to spell. It is. It is. There's 13 <laughs> letters in that one. Yeah. Um, but you can find me on Facebook under <laughs> Don DeRusso. Uh, you can either follow me on my real estate page or my personal page. All of my listings are on there. Um, up and coming changes with the financial world, which is coming soon. Um, and, mm. you know, just some information about anything that you need with home inspections or appraisals or what is going on in the real estate world. So it's pretty exciting. I love it. And a girl, way to yeah. rock it. Yeah. And you brought a friend good. tonight. She's sitting in the audience, and her name is? That's Crystal Ashman over there. Hi, she is actually Hi, from my real estate wow. office. Crystal rocks! Um, one of my favorites over yeah. there. Yeah, she's yeah. a good nut. Yeah, good. we're yeah. a pretty good pair. Good and luck. she wears great flip-flops, in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. They, they, yes. Yeah, they're very sparkly. Yeah. They are. You can see them from here. It's pretty impressive. It bounces That's off right. my forehead. That's how sparkly it is. <laughs> So, wow. So, we're going to say goodbye to your bartending career yes. as your uh, real estate career flourishes. It is. It is definitely the best year I've ever had. I've been doing it for 12, and this is definitely the best year. Crystal and I actually have a little bet going on who's going to sell more this year. I Go think ahead. I'm ahead by about 400000 right now. <laughs> you need that. Just no, saying, you need Crystal. That little, get, from, until next week, get them no sold, little Mama. little challenges. You know, yeah, oh, yeah. Keep keep us, oh, yeah. It keeps us motivated. We have, to have, you know, we have to have little side bets going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it keeps us going, and it's fun. You know, we'll get some good dinners, pedicures, manicures. It just depends on who's paying for what with a little bet. So. And like I said, if you ever go out on a Saturday night, I'm a good babysitter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I'll take care of the three-year-old. I like we'll it. We'll stay up and party. Great. I, I'm sure she would put you under the table with whatever you needed. <laughs> well Speaking done. of bets, Joel, I'm not going to let you off for the yeah. most current bet. Yeah. Because I've been What's taking the your, current bet? Listen, Thank I've been, you for bringing that up. I, I've been taking your money for the last year because you make horrible bets. That's true. You may, I'm not saying you are going to because I have full, full, full confidence in the Red Sox, but you may win Red Sox having a worse record than the Yankees. But I will tell you what, the bet that you made that the Jets will have a better record than the New England Patriots oh, for absolutely. $500. This, You're out of your mind. This is the J-E-T-S season. I feel wow. it in my heart. Oh I hope you're saving God. your money. You, know, you bet me $500 I that did. the Jets would have a better record than the so Patriots. So that bet's still on. I'm not oh, letting him out of that. Is. Are you kidding me? 
win. No way. You can take wow. the $50 if you the Yankees win. You know what that win, is? But... A Victoria's Secret? That's monster. It's like three bras. It's a new outfit, you know? Yeah, it's like she... three bras at Victoria's Secrets for real. <laughs> but, really? But she doesn't know if I lose. I don't know. I never shop there. You know, I don't wear bras. So. <laughs> but she doesn't know if I lose, I'm going to pay her off on food stamps. <laughs> hey, you know what? You can probably... He doesn't qualify for them. <laughs> so he's lying right now. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, listen. We got Louie here. Uh, uh, so, we, listen, I know you're getting ready to go back to your party over at the Pine yeah. Public House. And Come on down. Have one a last drink. question yes. for you. Yes. Oh, one last oh. question. Uh, hello? <laughs> no, one last question. Is it, is it okay if John Eric O'Neill goes to your uh, going away party at the Pint? Of course. Oh, okay. Well, he wasn't invited. There was nobody invited. Oh, it's okay. just a night. Well, he, he asked me about it For earlier. For sure. He was there, a little there, was, out. there were no invitations well, sent out. They wanted very to. Very good, you know. John, they, they, John there really was the no, em, oh, there were boy, no invitations set out. <laughs> so you don't want to come? No. He wants, oh. Yeah, he wants to come all right. <laughs> no, don't we all? <laughs> this just went down south. On that note, I'm going to get back to the pint, and I will see you guys afterwards. Okay. All right, John. Hey, listen. Listen, pleasure, we Don. love you. Thank you so much You're for welcome. coming in. We have a, maybe this is for you. Oh. Okay, stay with me. Oh, we have a caller. You're first tonight on Amsterdam. Hi, caller. Yes, sir. All right, what's going on, uh, man? Hey, I want to say hey, thank you very much to Don. What a great bartender. Great. I love you. <laughs> Scumpy! Scumpy. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. No, she, she is. Uh, I'm gonna miss her. She's uh, what a beautiful girl, a, a great bartender. She was just telling and, uh, us before the show how much she can't stand you. <laughs> that is so Luke, not uh, true. I mean, he has such a tan. I, he's starting to look like Charles Barkley. I wonder if he swings a club like Charles Barkley. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I swing a big club, uh, Scumpy. I got a big club for a Jewish guy. He got the big yeah, you know, but your tan so good. I swear to God, with that shape, that he's starting to look like Charles Barkley, man. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I smell like them too. All right, all right. Hey, yeah, you probably. Hey, no, I love please. you all, guys. I'll, I'll see you next week. Go uh, on vacation. I'll probably see you uh, next weekend. Okay, all right, sounds then. good. Hope it's the weekend and not Wednesday. Happy Father's Day, Scumpy. <laughs> wow. Happy Father's Day. Does Scumpy have kids? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, we got another color. Hi, you're next to Adam Amsterdam. <laughs> Hello, you're in the air. You connect us to the room. Yeah. yeah. Okay, caller. Go ahead. All right, good night. All right, see, adios, amigo. Remember, you're on delay, <laughs> so, you know. All right, let Don leave, for Christ's sake. All right, all right. 413 When does John O'Neill call the shots here? Well, he does. <laughs> he does. I'm only kidding. Note, before I'm you guys start hey, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, guys. All right, I we'll be back with Louie. Say goodbye to her. We'll be back with Louie Applebaum. We're going to see her in a second. We're going to see her in a second. Yeah. Thank you, Don. Way to run. Very good. All right. Hey, John, right. do you have the... Uh... <laughs> what the heck is this, John? Can you... Did you Curse have... Of... The name of the game is Ball Buster. It's a family game, fun for children, and for adults, it's exciting. You make strategic offensive and defensive moves, then try to bust your opponent's balls. It's as easy as checkers. All right, we're back here, and there's no ball busting going on. This is serious stuff because we've been talking about this guy. We, this guy's name comes up on the show uh, once in a while, and uh, he's here tonight. And I know there's people waiting to see him. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Louis Applebaum. Yes. Good evening. 
Why did my name come up? That's why I'm here this evening. Because you're a Manchester person. Well, I'm a Manchester person, but I get a call last week from my probation officer in the cab. <laughs> They're talking about you on the show. I nearly get violated. I got my sponsor here with me tonight, Joe, just to make sure I'm not downstairs. I thought this was a series of intervention, and I'm not the client. I mean, I meet you guys downstairs. <laughs> this is all new to me. And then, then you got this woman in here talking about sales in my vehicle. They're selling they're not selling real estate, man. They're yeah. selling a lot of other things, oh, but not yeah, real yeah, estate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> you have been exposed to the uh, inner city to the max. Well, a lot of doubt. You're a cab driver? Cab driver since August 15th, 1991, the present. Get right in the mic. Yeah, right in the mic, yeah. So, so, so... For, since when? Since August fifteenth, nineteen ninety one. Now I heard tonight from a from a now now she takes the cab on. I'm not mentioning no names. She takes a cab on a regular basis, and most of the time she gets you. And she told me tonight that you're very negative when you drive. Is, is that true? You're, well, you're, you're a, a negative. An acronym, an acronym for a cab driver is a crab driver. So depending on when she meets me, if I'm not on my medication, it all depends how I'm doing, man. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, we work 12-hour shifts. If I'm not at the right level, I could be in a bad mood. No one became a baron driving a cab. I'm just glad to have a sandwich. So when you say you're on medication, what kind of medication are you well, on? Well, that, that's I mean, between I, my I mean, doctor. To myself and my yeah. sponsors I mean, here tonight. Are you, yeah. hat? Are you on Viagra? I mean, no, tell my, us. My what? thing, I, I'm certified. You know, right now I could just go right up there and get a check. You drive a cab for 24 years, man, you're in. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. 24 oh, yeah. years, 12 yeah. hour shifts, no benefits, no retirement. I do this for the goodness of my community. Now, what do you think of Uber coming in? Well, Uber is not really a threat to our business. They're uh, people with smartphones. The people we pick on Cedar Street don't have smartphones for that type of business. <laughs> exactly. But Uber, they don't have licenses. They don't have insurance. I'm Queen City Taxi. 24 hours, wow. 365 still, days a you're year. You're still doing it. Queen City Taxi. Wow, Monday, is. Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday from 4 to 4. Now, at the end of the shift... Do you take the cab home and pack it then? I don't take anything no. home. Oh, okay. I don't take anything. Take, take a few dollars. Take, the cab home. take a few dollars home. No one ever became a baron doing this. I'm just glad that people aren't out there getting behind the wheel. And it's wonderful <laughs> exactly. what the police are doing in this community. <laughs> exactly. We have a great presence in this community of the police. I saw a wonderful officer out at uh, Lake Massabesic today, Officer Mullen. I told him I'd say hello. Oh, We've yeah. got a great town here in Manchester, and they're doing the best they can with the problems that are all throughout this country. And I'm just trying to be a conduit so people will not get behind that wheel. I think and if you don't have the money, don't worry about it. We can settle up another time. The phone Sounds lines good. are lighting up. And we got a caller right now. Hi, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. You're on hey, the air. Louis. Yes. Uh, Louis, uh, hey, you know, scumpy, hey, uh, <laughs> give me a ride home. Maybe we'll play a little blackjack. What do you think, man? Yeah, I played oh, blackjack with blackjack. you up on Hall Street. I blew all my money. Yeah, I, I recognize the voice. Yeah. Scumpy. All right, Scumpy. What else you have? All right. That's it. Okay, good night. So Poor 20, Scumpy. So 21 years, correct? 24 years. Okay, 24 years. Question. He has trouble with that, too, by the way. Best customer in 24 years and, you, and, and the worst customer in your cab? They're all good customers. There's no such thing as a bad customer. They're all good people. What was the biggest tip you ever got? Oh, a few guys have thrown me a Ben Franklin here or there. I had a guy throw me 400 one night. Wow. Right before Thanksgiving. He said, how much is it for a guy like you? You know? <laughs> The Queen City, a beer on tap, a queer in your lap. I didn't know what he was talking about, <laughs> but um, you know, I said, well, on a night like this, I can make a couple hundred. He said, would 400 work for you? I said, 400? I took him to Millie's. We shot some pool. I called up a couple girls. I can get anything you want, man. You don't have to go to the Squire Lounge. I can keep you local. You don't have to go back to Chelsea. Anything you need, I have for you. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> I was a regular customer at the Squire. Yeah, there's no doubt about That's Revere where you got that tan. That's uh, where it, uh, yeah. And you don't look like me. You do look like a moose. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like a moose. I'm half Jewish, half Greek. Uh, All you need is a Greek body with a Jewish mind. Because if you got it the other way around, you got the physique of a lesbian walking backwards with no brains. <laughs> 
mean, you didn't think you were going to run this show. This is Harrison Street. This is Pearl Street. Oh, so, that's Ash Street, and you're in Chelsea. I don't know what you did so, wrong in Chelsea. Yeah. I lived on Ash Street in Chelsea. Oh, in Chelsea. Yeah, he lived, Chelsea. On, he lived on Ash Street. <laughs> I was told no swearing. I didn't know how far I could well, go. Well, you could say yeah. ass, I think. Well, John Eric, is ass cool? Was in the Bible. Oh, if you want to yeah, say, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. S A, you say the word. It's ship. in the Bible. Ship, ship. For yeah, the we other say word. ship once yeah, in a while. Oh, yeah, and we say you. funk. Yeah, I appreciate it. You yeah. know, I heard him say peckerhead last week. I don't, I don't know how far he went. Well, he says yeah. that he says peckerhead leakage, sleepage, and went on the alley. Yeah, cranium damage. That's what those people have. That I was talking Tibbs about. Tibbs can say whatever he wants. Hey, I wanted, I wanted, <laughs> and I wanted to tell you though. Uh, Bill Barry says hello. Well, Bill Barry, I grew up with Billy, and he's trying to protect the community of Auburn. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Billy. And T has a great song for Bill. A Bill Barry to the rescue. A Bill Barry to the rescue. Go, Bill Barry, go! Maybe Bill Barry will call in the show tonight. He might. He Bill's watches. watching. I think Bill's a great guy. I love yeah. Bill Barry. Well, they're a great family. They the grew family. up right That's here right. on Merrimack Street. These are yeah. these are Manchester natives. We're yeah. a very insular community. I don't think right. people from Hookson, never mind Chelsea. Bill I don't even know what the hell you did wrong down there to get up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> Bill is the best of the best. I love, I love Bill well, Barry. Well, people from Manchester yeah. are the best of the best. Yeah. The That's best right. people in the world are from Manchester, New Hampshire. I think you're right. I know I'm right. Yes, I, know I I'm agree right. with you. T, I do have to say I love you. I love your T-shirt. Thank you very much. Oh, my, I think it's great. My mother brought this for me uh, when she was visiting Amy uh, down in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. We're going along. <laughs> she comes back from Texas with this T-shirt. I go, you can't shop local. I go, what the heck, you know? I said, thank you very much, mom. And uh, I always wear it with pride. <laughs> your mom may be watching. I, yeah, she could be. So you she guys was... grew up together on Harrison Street? Well, he's Harrison, nah. I'm Pearl and Linden. We're four streets apart. Yeah, but, you know. yeah. he was uh, right across from Danny Duvel. And back in the 70s, uh, the other show, 606 of Pearl was uh, Rick Quintel's house, which uh, uh, we had a lot of parties there. We had a lot of fun over there. I mean, was Steve scooting around when you were growing up there? Never heard that particular no, name. I heard Buckley, Ganyan, Yeah, Buckley, John... oh yeah, they were all up Pearl Street. Yeah, yeah. Jeff all the Walker. Jewish names. Jeff Wallace. No, I, yeah, you know. Jeff Wallace. Yeah, you know, Ned DeRosas. They were on the The same. Jews in Manchester have never looked at me as a Jew. My mother's a Greek. I'm with the Greeks. Okay. Manchester's run by the Greeks. There you Greeks go. Run at Manchester. that time was big time. Oh, yeah. Well, this building here is Anignos. Gatsis is the mayor. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere you go to have something to eat, it's a Greek. If you want to make one of your bets on the Jets, it's a Greek. I mean, yeah. you know, the Greeks <laughs> run Manchester. That's yeah. the deal. There Are you, you a go. Jets fan? I'm not a fan of the Jets. I'm a fan of Joe Namath. But I'm not really? a fan I love of, Joe know, Namath. I'm not a fan of the Jets. But Peter always makes a joke because I told Peter once that uh, his uh, Joe used to bathe with his kids. And, and Peter got so, he goes, what? I go, Joe used to take baths with his kids. Yeah, until they were uh, like 10 years yeah, 10, old. 10, 10, I never knew years. Joe got married. Oh, uh, I never knew Joe was even married. Maybe he yeah, just had yeah, kids married, without yeah. getting married. Yeah. He's what do you think guy. of that? I, I love that guy growing up. Yeah. I wanted to be like Joe Namath. Oh well, my God. there's a few oh, yeah. problems there. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to take baths. Number with one, you're going to be an athlete. <laughs> and I'm really Number two, two. you're going to take baths with your kids. <laughs> Number three, you're going to be able to wear white shoes. But yeah, that you, you strive for your goals. Joe please. Namath That's was it. on the Brady Bunch once. Oh. Yes, yeah. he was. They got a white shoes during the Super Bowl. It was so cold that day, he wore pantyhose. Yes. That, you remember did. that? That yeah, was a pantyhose. big controversy. Yeah, and in the but he was very happy he did that because he was warm. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> they got a warm. I'm in the market for a nice fur coat in the winter time. Oh, we got fur coats yeah, coming in. And I know, I know the place to get one at Goodwill. And <laughs> yeah, Goodwill. Because uh, I have a friend that works there, and, and she has her eye out for me to get a, a nice fur coat. Before or after you go to Joker Poker? I mean, you're right in that general vicinity. You know, do, you, do you play cards, too? Are you a Texas Hold'em guy? Oh, I, love, I love playing poker. You like it all? I like it uh, all. I'll tell you right now, you're not getting a fur coat at a, a Goodwill, all right, because they're all imitation. Have you guys seen this picture of Joel? Uh, no, John Eric, too. Can we put up that? How about this, T? <laughs> oh. That's the moose. That's when he was imp impersonating uh, the guy who used to do Tex-Mex music. What uh, the heck Freddy, is that? Uh, what was that guy? Tex-Mex. 
Oh, yeah. Remember that came out? It looks the, like Ron Jeremy. Roll. I think I look great in that. Ron show. Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> that looks like the president of the Breezeway Pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look great there with the mustache and oh. all tanned dashing. up. Dashing. That was you 1977. That's dashing. What, that's when I got dashing. married. That was my wedding picture. Wow. That's, yeah. He probably burnt all those. <laughs> He got his, he got his, uh, he got his tux at Montgomery Ward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was open then. <laughs> true, true. Joe, am I doing all right? Hey. All right, thank you. Is this, he still married? You got serenity. No, he got Joe? divorced. He got divorced. I got divorced after 35 years, but I'm gonna. 35 years. 35 years. Make up your mind and get rid of the bride. You weren't married for 35 years. Yeah, what a call. You weren't married for 35 years. Do the math. You're next to that Amsterdam. You weren't married in 77. 97 is 20 years. Hi, Carlo. Hi. You're on the air. Yeah, bring it on. What's up, man? I want you to ask Louie Applebaum if he knows who this is on the phone. Okay. Well, that call is coming directly from Sarasota, Florida. That's the owner of Panucci's, Charles Colanza. Ah, oh, oh, Chucky, oh. Chucky. I miss you all, guys. I hope you're having a good time. Chuck, there he is. I am now in Manchester, and I'm here to hear Louie Applebaum go crazy. He's I'll tell you what. We were gonna have, Chuck, Chuck, we were going to have you on and do a little skit like the old – like the old game show, and we'd have you three, uh, Chuck, Joel, and Louie, and then, you know, you guys each say, hello, my name's Joel Elber. Hello, my name's Joel Elber. Hello, <laughs> my name's Joel Elber. And then the, the look audience the guys, has to find them. The guys, I told you, those two look alike like it's like uh, night and like night and night, you know. Me in the middle of them two, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> the tan. You know, it's the tan, like, Chuck. Listen, listen, they're like studs right off a of snow tire. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Charles. Love, Love you, hey, buddy. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys go. Love hey, you, man. Wow. Hey, Chuck. Well, kind, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, you do to come on the show. Hey, listen, we got to promote uh, Hanover Street Closet after July 4th uh, on Friday and Saturday night, so... At, uh, at Panucci's. So, so you're going to be closed uh, at yeah, Panucci's? I'll definitely come on. Oh, excellent. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Have okay. a good night, Chaz. Thanks, Thanks okay. Chuck. Well, sounds like Panucci's is going to be closing uh, yeah. when Hanover Street closes. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> great guy. Chuck Kalanis, owner of Panucci's. One Panucci's. Of, one, of, one of the great guys. Yes. Oh, one, one of, of the, the finest guys. horse handicappers in the whole oh, North East. Oh, you have to say it that right. way. One of the greatest. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. Yeah. Yeah. About two weeks ago. I was just talking to somebody about the Christmas special when Chuck was on and uh, your, uh, your, your performance that night, T. That was a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus, remember? I was roofied. <laughs> I still think I was roofing. I, holy cow, that was wow. That was a, You're right about Chuck, though, one of the greatest handicap. As a matter of fact, two weeks ago, he one had of the a, greatest handicap guys. He, he had a $38 winner on uh, one of his horses. Yeah. yeah very Charles good. has picked many a winner. Yeah. Many a winner. Yeah, he is a winner. It's part of his lineage. He's a That's great. Fine. He looks at that horse, he knows. He, he took knows. us down to the old Poor John's Pub. Not the new Poor John's Pub, but downstairs. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, he's done some of his finest work down there. <laughs> I bet he has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have to agree. Oh, dude. I make one more remark like that, he'll be waiting after the show. And he, <laughs> he can still do it at 56 like he could do it at 26. Have you, have, I got no chance. No were you, uh, chance. Were you, I love him. I love the guy. Were you a guy that was uh, a, a regular over at the Poor John's? With him, I was a regular everywhere I wanted to go. He reached in his pocket. There's a guy I like gave to everyone in this town. He does. He gave to strong. everyone in this town. We had him on guy. the show, you know, before the Christmas show. We had him on the show in November around Thanksgiving time. And, uh, yeah, he was, he, he was very generous. Well, he's he was, been that yeah, way his whole life, his whole family. Yeah. They yeah, had the Merrimack generous. restaurant. Yep. He's, he's the real deal. Charles is the real deal. You got that right. Yeah, yeah one of the best guys around. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the way Greeks are. They give us. Yeah, hey. I grew up with some Greeks. Yeah. The Karagiannis. Yeah, nice oh, people. Yeah. yeah, the great Suvlaki Pizza. Suvlaki Pizza. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. And the Georgopolis. Oh, yeah, the Georgopolis is running that. And, uh, you know, you know. But, but it was the there. people still running it. The sister went into her own thing, and the other brother is a, a, a doctor for crying out loud. Well, no, no, no one's a doctor, T. Yeah, is Georgopolis? No. Yeah. The 700 no. block no, of Costa Chester works Street. at the pizza place, too. 
Peter, 700 block. Yeah. Well, he might be retired now, but Mr. Tibbetts is right here. There is a Dr. Karagiannis. There yeah. is a North Dr. Karagiannis, Chester. but it's not the Tsuvlaki Karagiannis. No, I wouldn't think they were the same thing, oh, but there is they? a Dr. Karagiannis. Were yes. they a cousin? There is. Oh, they're all related. You're part yeah, Greek. Your name ends in S. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're in T. Okay, hold on. I've been eating their their products forever. So, hey, listen, Lou. Before you started working a cab, what would you do around town? Well, I wasn't around Manchester. I was uh, I was out west. I've only done a couple things in my life. I've hauled around people, yeah. and I used to go to San Diego and haul around some other stuff. But, I mean, I really, you know, my career has been with cannabis and people. I haven't done much else in life. That's about <laughs> it, man. That's the, and now they're telling me that this isn't a gateway drug anymore, that the whole thing's coming. No, they're saying that it's cool Front now. page of the union yeah. leader, medical marijuana moving forward. I mean, they're thinking of having four different places here in New Hampshire. Crying yeah, but medical marijuana, you have to be pretty much, in New Hampshire, you have to be terminal to get that stuff. Yeah, well, uh, Joel get it. You drive a cab for <laughs> years, you get it. You get, everyone gets everything. it, man. <laughs> no. Just wait well, for it to come, man. But uh, Louis has always known uh, Manchester when he, as it's grown because of his job, number one. And as I did uh, doing driver's ed, you find all these other places that the other people in the rest of the city don't even know for crying out loud. And uh, also, all the people he meets. You know, uh, that's the thing. That Everybody has a story. Hilarious. Yes. Yeah, it's a good story. But Manchester, you never have to really even drive on the streets. You can just drive in the alleys. Yeah. You don't oh, yeah. have to really ever drive in the streets. But uh, in, in a city, a lot of alleys. Yeah, a lot of alleys, a lot of alley cats. I mean, you know. Now, oh, yeah. being a, a cabbie for 24 years, did you ever find people uh, leave things in your cab that was very interesting, that it was very <laughs> yeah. well? Well, at the end of the night, I cleaned the car out immaculately. That's how we do things at Queen City Taxi. Anything that is left in the car, we have in the lost and found division. But if they leave anything, it's one of those phones, sometimes an umbrella. You know, I've never found any currency, but anything that's ever left in a Queen City cab, just call during the day, and our lost and found division will be glad to help them out with it. The, so you, the, very, the customer service over at Queen City cab is top-notch? Queen City, it's yeah. the only way to go, man. 24 hours a day, yep. live dispatch, vans, and like I say, if you're a little short, your ATM card isn't working, we can always settle up the next day. The summer is wow. starting. Get in a cab. Don't get in with a friend that's loaded. Let's have a good summer. Take a cab. What about the people that just run away? Well, if they run away, I've run three marathons in the last 20 years. <laughs> Let them try. I haven't had too many people try to do that. You yeah. know I mean? I've yeah. had people that like live north of Webster Street want to know why it's $3 to get in. I said, well, how much is your house worth? And then I ask them what they'd like to pay. And, you know, I mean, it's not a money-making proposition. It's to help people out. Right. I've never done it like, you know, I'm not a very ambitious guy. I just want to see the people that go to the grocery store, that go to the hospital, the elderly. Yeah. It's about helping people out. That's what the whole gig is, at least through my experience. Right. Right. It's about helping people That's out. That's a tough I mean. job, man, because you, you, you don't know who you're, who you're lugging around either. Well, maybe, maybe this call, maybe uh, this call like him. You got next head out of Amsterdam. Hey, boy. Oh, uh -huh. Mr. Doyle. <laughs> going on, fellas? Boy, right. a long time no hear, no see. It's about time. Hey, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad I ate my lunch early when I heard Louie talking about Greeks running the city. Like, <laughs> what, Mike? You don't like feta cheese? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you brought back some memories. I used to, for two years, I lived on the corner of Orange and Hall with my grandmother while my parents were building a house. Wow. And I, I have three other brothers, three older brothers. And we used to have battles with the Buckley brothers. Club. Oh, yeah. Moochie. That was the Hall Street, Hall Street Market right there. And the, yeah. You know, fighting for that territory. So. Wow. Yeah, that, was always a, that was always a classic. But, were, you, were you in the tenement uh, building there? On Origin Hall? Say that again? Origin Hall. Were you in the tenement building? Yeah, the tenement, the bottom floor of the big tenement, three-story yeah. tenement. Yeah, the three-story, I know where you are, oh yeah. Number 800, yeah. it's on the yeah. Hall Street side. Yeah, my, gra my grandmother lived there for years. So. Yeah, oh, wow. But oh. uh, hey, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to call in and uh, tell you tell you a story about Louie. It kind of goes to the 
I don't want to think. I don't want to think that I want to sit in his lap or anything. But it, it <laughs> well, kind of goes. Not Santa Claus. When, when my kid was in high school, Louis came up to me and he handed me his business card and he said, "Hey, your kid ever in a pickle? You know, he's out, did something, you know, drank a little much, like we all did when we were in high school. Give him my card and you tell him you call me anytime, anywhere. Don't worry about having money. I'll get him home safely." So wow. as a parent. That's a, nice. that's a pretty nice. That's a pretty nice uh, get out of jail free card for your kid. You know what I mean? That's super and, service. Uh, well, he'll he'll be yeah. at the element later on in the show, Mike. <laughs> Doily, yeah, we'll have yeah, the yeah, feature yeah. tomorrow yeah, in Belmont. Yeah, I love yeah. you, buddy. There's the second best handicapper in town. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Doily. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. As a matter of fact, do, uh, do, uh, uh, Mike and myself and 40 other guys are going up to Saratoga at the end of August. The horse is 15 yeah. to 1 or we'll better. See. That's when Mike I gets believe, interested. I don't believe you're going to be there, but... I'll be there at 4.30. You know where to find me. I don't know about the Saratoga. That's out of my jurisdiction, but, you know, Mike, maybe I can get a ride. Mike, Joel has been talking talking to the Sapienzas. He's been talking to Bill Barry. Yeah, he, he Joel thinks he's taking Bill Barry's private jet up to uh, Saratoga. He's, he's, all, yeah, he's all jacked up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mike, uh, what, what can I try out for a further review? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I'm sad to say that I think that's coming to an end because Phil uh, took on the waterworks job and he didn't want to continue the show. So, uh, uh, Mike, but, you're I the show anyway. Few, I, we, I we don't care that Crow's not left. You're the show. But uh, <laughs> not, nothing came up yet, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Keep it going. But Mike, you can keep the show going on Mike, your own. Mike, keep it you going. You don't need Crowsdale. What about Michael Martineau? What about Michael Martineau taking over Phil's spot? Yeah. Moose, is that a spray <laughs> tan or is that the legit thing? <laughs> no, that's all legit. Come on. Yeah, all legit. Uh, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it is. All right, boys. I just, uh, by the way, Moose, you, you texted me today. Uh, I'm telling you, we're sneaking up on the Yankees. Don't don't count us out yet. There's a whole second half of the season. No, I'm sorry to say you're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, there's a silver lining. We get to go out for another night's dinner. Well, that was fun. I, I smell. I, I already smell the 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 back room already. The chicken tenders are the cooking. Fried, the fried clams. There you go. All right, I'll talk. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Okay, hey, Mike. Thanks. Adios, Mike. We'll Thanks be over after the show. And Michael. Yeah, his pool's open. It's heated. Yeah, we can go. He Barbecue. said we can go over his yeah, house go anytime. And White, oh, yeah. I got no problem with Would that. Would you do a cannonball at, at Mike Doyle's house, Louie? Whatever he likes. Mike <laughs> is one of the... A Manchester guy. Yeah, yeah right he is. Right up there on the other side of Silly Road he grew up. Yeah, Mike yeah. is a great guy. I remember guy. when he was a refereeing for yeah. crying out loud. Running yeah, up Mike and down Doyle. The court. Yeah. Sad to see after further... He has a show on this channel. Uh, uh, with him and Phil. You know the show? Well, I thought it was called The Bear and the Big Guy. It used yeah. to be. Yeah. But then they decided <laughs> well, that was... MTV. <laughs> yeah, and The Bear decided... Well, he then you, if promotion, you, so. If you Google that, though, it t they don't come up. Something else does. <laughs> I've always felt Mike carried that show. You know, I mean, Phil is... You know, Phil looks good, but I've always felt Mike carries the show, really. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, we were on. I the wanted show. to ask Mike. Is it true? <laughs> you were on the show. Yeah, I wanted to ask uh, yeah. Mike too. I'm, I'm sorry he, he hung up, but uh, I wanted to ask if he knew if Phil Crowsdale swims in Lake Massabesic. Swims really? Yeah, you know some people Can do. You swim, but if you get caught, it's big fine, big fine. You can't swim in Lake Massabesic. No, you can't even when you put your boat in. You can't even put your legs in. Wasn't he just nominated to some big position? Yeah. The water was that right in now. his resume? Yeah, he's that the he CEO. Out he's there? he's no, running the show. No, it's not in his resume, but Joe Lavasser will tell you it was in his uh, resume. <laughs> Joe seen him swimming. Oh, yeah. That, uh, who knows? But Joe is not happy with him getting the job whatsoever. Not happy. Oh, no. Rumor has it Phil Crowsdale has a rope swing over at Battery Point. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. That's it just does. that's just a joke I, I made up in my head. There's a lot of rumors. Congratulations out there. to Phil. We're just we're just joking around, no, but hilarious. I don't think Phil would be swimming in Lake Massabesic. No. No, no, you know when too Louis, dirty. You know when Louis mentioned uh, Silly dirty. Road, the first thing, the first person that came to mind was your mother Kathy. What? Silly Road. Oh, okay, that's, that's right. Where, that's where your mom lives. Hi, I know she's listening. Hi, Miss Kathy. Because uh, she's silly. Yes, recovering from her hip surgery. Yeah, she's Kathy, doing fine. Yeah. Mrs. McNally is walking also. Uh, my sister's mother-in-law, 
She's out there. Mrs. Mrs. Prima. McNally. Yep. And Brian, the guy from uh, Rite Aid on the west side, Brian. he watches all the time. Nice. Big Brian. Uh, yeah, he's a very nice guy. Lou, do you watch the show once in a while? I don't have a chance to see it. Like I say, I work a lot, and uh, th this particular night I could be, you know, out working probably. Sometimes why aren't you, work. why in, where's the cab tonight? Is it right outside? Well, there's cabs all throughout this community. We have them positioned. They're located north, south, east, and west. Really? So what sector are you Queen in? City, well, wherever I drop off is where I stay. You okay. Know? So if I drop off at the mall and someone calls from down south, we're right there to pick them up in 10 minutes. Okay. So, so let me ask you a question. Say, for example, one of us three gets into a, a, a dilemma. So we call the cab company. Now, can we request you to come to get us? Well, T oh, has oh, a what? direct line. Oh. T has jumped out on Goffstown Back Road. The last time T was in was the Uptown Tavern. <laughs> As he's throwing the $20 bill on the floor, he's diving right on the Greeley Street. T, T is one of the most amazing customers. They told me he was at the Davion. I couldn't find him. They said the Uptown. But you can request me in my cab. You can have a beverage. You can smoke. You can kiss your partner. Anything you like, just if you'll pay the fare. But if you okay. can't do that, the world doesn't end. The cab is about helping you out, man. Give your keys to the bartender. Matter of fact, if you like, we'll have one of our other drivers drive your car home, and I'll take you with me. That's amazing. We're that's, into that's safety. Crazy. Safety what, is what we're looking for. What's safety the number at the Queen right. City? What's the number? The number is 603-622-0008. Been in business for over 20 years. Yep. Yeah. Our owners from Romania, Rudy Musset, and his brother started the company with a Manchester native, Al Smith. Okay. And we're here to serve the community, the market basket, all the bars, 24 hours, 3, 4 in the morning. That other outfit you mentioned, you know, they use those things. What do they call them? GPS. Uh, yep. Give people a shot. They don't know Elm Street from Mammoth Road. Right. You're with people from Manchester right. that know the community. Yeah. That love the people. You got guys driving around here with plates from out of state. Who even knows if they got a license? When you're with Queen City, you're with a legitimate outfit, insured, right. workman's comp. Our reputation speaks for itself. How many nice. streets? How many? How many? Uh, how many streets in Manchester start and stop again? You know what I'm saying? Like well, like Elm Street. You got Beach Street. Elm Street's only Beach one. Street, South Beach Street stops and starts again, right? So if someone says a certain address, you're like, well, this is where it ends. But you're gonna go around the. You know that. Well, they stop and start, but I had yeah. a I had a politician in my cab once, Dan O'Neill. Okay. And he was riding around to see the safety of the community, and he said, now, Louie, I know you've been doing this a long time. He goes, but how do you know these addresses? And at the time, I said, well, Dan, you probably need a job. I said, when you're going up a street in America, one side's odd, the other side's even. I mean, when you've done this as long as I've done it, you know right. who lives in the house, what they do for a living, what color the house is. I mean, right. we just mentioned an address, 800 Orange Street, Orange and Hall. But yeah. Manchester's a very easy town, and they try to make it so the people that come here, the people that run this town when you're in South Beach, everything that's set up in this community is set up for a reason. You know, it's set up so people, the traffic can be right. You go around this town, it's wonderful to see all the police out here because their presence probably diffuses a lot more problems than we already have. Right. Yep. So, you know, Manchester's run in a very orderly fashion. It's the largest city in the state, and things are going very well in this community. And um, I'm you, proud to be from Manchester. I am, too. That's that's why I do the show here. Yeah. I really am. I, it, that's what it's all about. That, yeah. That's what the whole show's about. Now, you live in what ward? Well, Ward, Ward 12. I live at Washington Park Estates. Oh, oh, oh. My mother's lived there for 33 years, but her legs have been kind of bad. She's probably resting right now. She's at the Maple Leaf facility up here on Pearl Street. We grew up on Pearl. She's in the lower end. Okay. I'd like to say hello to my mother. Yeah, hey, Ma. Oh, uh, yeah, How man. How you doing? She worked in the grocery stores here yeah. at Ferretti's, at Vista. Oh, and, I bet um, she could yeah. tell some great stories about Ferretti's. Yeah, she can tell some great stories. She grew up at Cedar and Union yeah. 86 years ago. Oh, yeah. wow. Registered voter? Registered voter. We yeah. have no felonies in my family. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll no, be running for Alderman in Mile 12. I appreciate your uh, vote. Well, we'll look at it, Joel. Who's going to be? Who are you running against? Keith Hirschman. Oh, is that my? That's mine, isn't it? 
I'm sorry? <laughs> that's my award. We're all voting. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. 12. Yeah, all, all of us. Why 12? I'm voting for Hirschman. Now, <laughs> now you, have, you have siblings also. Oh, I have a yeah. sister down in Cape Cod, mm. Anna. First yeah. runner-up, Miss Manchester. Has a couple daughters. Wow. Yeah, she was and great. I, and she I have another, another sister, Amy, that's yeah. lived in Laguna Hills, California for 30 years. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Hey, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. Great kids, too. Get Carla. You're on the air. Don't be afraid. See, your sisters feel like my sisters. Wow, that brother, he he says too much and he's... Oh, yeah, he's they had to leave town. Something. Neither <laughs> one of your sisters lives in town. No. I had friends that wanted to date my sister. I said, what are you, crazy? Yeah. One had to move 3,000 miles away. The other one, you know, I went in the Air Force when I was younger. She got, <laughs> she got a few in, but, you know. <laughs> when I was in town, no one got near them. Oh, no. I know. Yeah, Carla, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Good. How you doing? How you guys doing tonight? Excellent. Sorry. How you doing? Good. Hey, I'd like to say hi to Louie. Go ahead. He's right here. Doing, Good evening. Who's calling? Uh, I'm an old, old friend. Um, born on the corner of Pearl and Russell. Pearl and And I uh, used to hang out with Ronnie Lemire, and we used to play kickball in Louie's backyard with Danny Duval and Pickles. And But I was down the hill on the right. Do you remember me, Louie? You played father with my... You played golf with my dad now and then. And who's your father? My father plays golf at the uh, Deerfield Country Club with Louie once in a while. And we used to be down on Pearl Street. What's His the... name is Bob, and I'm Bob Jr. Champagne? Yeah, that's right, Louie. How you doing? Oh, Greatest catcher in the world. Yeah. Bobby Champagne. Really? Yeah. Nice guy. Like I said, just call to say hi, and uh, I'm sure my dad would say hi, but he's probably in bed by now. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Thanks for calling. You ever need a cab? The first one's yeah, on me, great man. Great show. Great show. I've been in your cab, Lou. Yeah. Take care. Anytime. Have a good night, Bobby. All right. Bobby Champagne calling. Oh, Bobby Champagne nice. Jr. Junior. At first, I was going to go Larry Benz, but they he was on uh, the top of the hill. So. thought it could have been Bowers. I wasn't sure. Yeah, one of the Bowers. Right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they there were some Jennings us. over there, oh, too, yeah. for oh, a little yeah. while, right? I mean, Jennings are on Bridge Street, right across, diagonal Bridge. from uh, Academy Fruit. Academy Fruit. Billy <laughs> 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 Kant Terrace. Billy Kant Terrace and his All of 35 and <laughs> 6 pack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Without nice. a doubt. On the oh, front. On the front. Yep. You never had to have any money in Manchester. Just no, going to no. store. Hi, right, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. Yeah, I just want to say hello to my friend, my Jewish friend, Louis. <laughs> who's calling? You know who's calling. He called me today. He actually butt-dialed me right before the show. He didn't even know it. I called you right before <laughs> the show? Yeah, you butt-did. <laughs> but but call. Yeah, but call. I am half Greek. That can't happen. No, I'm either. looking at I'm looking at two cue balls in the end of the, the twins. You guys could be twins. Oh, jeez. I know who this is. As a matter of fact, tomorrow I'm going for my cabbie's license. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, what else you have tonight, Carla? Anything else for the guys? I just want to say hello to my friend Louie, you know. He's the uh, best cab driver in Manchester, as you all know, Central Grad. Yeah. What year, Lou? Uh, 1977. He doesn't, partake, he doesn't partake in what I make because I make beer. Tells you. The greatest. Peter Telge. There would never have been a club in Manchester in the 80s if it wasn't for Peter Telge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too true. Christopher is the high five. Two beautiful kids. His son, Zach, is my partner. We're going bowling. I want Telge to put the 20 yeah. down first. Awesome. Yeah. He's going to take the kid, Tyler. Friday, I'm Friday taking night, Zach. 8 p.m. We're in the finals of minor league. My two sons are going to rock it. Nice. Nice, nice. This Thanks is, for calling, Peter, and get that kid ready to go guys, bowling at Lakeside. Have a great night. Love Th you guys. Thanks, Thanks. for calling, awesome. Peter. Awesome, Peter. Peter Tells from Millie's Tavern. Oh, yeah. Millie's Tavern. Tonight. That's 500 Millie's Commercial Tavern. Street, I believe. We were there, what, two weeks ago with Millie's? Yeah. 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 He yeah, wasn't at, there, though. At a big event. No, he wasn't. Which yeah. is great. But we, saw him at the, <laughs> but we saw him at the Joyce Craig event. He was catering. Yeah. yeah. He was. Exactly. Yeah. Great food at Millie's, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Head Shop has played every bar he's been involved with. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? He's playing this weekend? Head every Shop? Bar. Any, no, uh, oh, yeah, this head weekend? What's, yeah. What's, yeah. what's Head, head, head Shop's summer tour? This Saturday, we'll be at the Davion Club. Oh, 
the nicest club. Always the nicest like, people. Always. Like. Really? You love Yeah, they have the camera. The we pull in the back. They see us come up. We don't even have to go in and get them. They come right no, out. They come right out. Yeah, yep. the Davion. One, the most beautiful club in the community. East Side Club, the Rim and yep. Club. Oh, yeah. All, all the clubs they, in Manchester. Yeah, they've done them all over. So they, they're they unbelievable. Now. We just, we just yeah. recently I mean, went to the Rayfield. I mean, look at the fish. Oh, the fish, the fish is like is being in a casino control. in Las Vegas. You walk in now, it's like boom. Kibitz took me God. there uh, recently. Yeah, uh, that was that was interesting. Yeah. Hi, you're next uh, tonight on Amsterdam. Wow. Yeah, caller. Hello, uh, Lou. Yes. Remember this guy, Lou? Who is it? Lou, one twelve Auburn Street. One twelve Auburn. I know who it is. Who is it? It's the People's Mayor. Gatzes. That's Look. right. Lou and I have gone around in circles. The people's mayor, Glenn Ouellette? Yes. Oh. Oh. That's who it is. <laughs> Glenn Ouellette. <laughs> so what can you tell us about Lou, Glenn? Oh, actually, Lou's a very good guy. He, uh, he'll help anybody that needs help. There's no question about that. That's right. Yeah, that's what he, yeah, that's, yeah. He, hey, you don't have we need money. more people like him in this city. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's born and bred. Yes, I just thought I'd call, I'd call and say hi. Very good, good Glenn. Glenn. Yep. Nice to hear from you. One of the candidates running for uh, mayor of Manchester. That's sick. They tell you an address. You know who lives in the house. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I know I know the voice. And I know he lives on Auburn you know? Street. So. Yeah. yeah but Glenn's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, candidate for mayor of Manchester. Yeah, don't yeah. forget to vote. Yeah. So well, uh, let's let's find out. Well, we're gonna have can Glenn we on. Read it out a little bit first, but we have to vote in August. Yeah, we're we're having all the, the candidates. How many on people we got vote, yeah. running for Quinn? How many losers the, running too? I mean, holy. We're God. having all the, T. We're having all starting July 29th. We yeah. have Jawed Ali Baba, and then we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Mayor Gatzis on. We're gonna have Patrick Arnold on. We're gonna have Joyce Craig on. Now all, I'm gonna yeah. have some hard yeah. political questions for them guys. Let me tell yeah, you right yeah. now. I let him off easy the first time. I was soft, soft political. You're ready to hit him hard. Hard, hard political yeah, is coming we, your way. We have everything booked out there in Manchester. Oh, yeah. for we the, want uh, to know some straight For the facts. mayor's race, so tune in. Like Peter said, uh, what, when, when's our first guest? May? Uh, July 29th. Uh, Jawed Ali. We're going to kick it off it's, with Jawed uh, Ali Baba. It's June. What are you talking about May, Moose? It's June. Can you stay focused <laughs> for 12 seconds? Unbelievable. Well, what are they coming on, man? No. It's already June. These people are coming on in July because, you know, the month is gone. So it has to go this way. Not that way. This way. Hello. I'm not as smart as you. Oh, not. it's not a matter of being smart. You know, because I, I'm spattered in my own brain. It's just common but sense. It's called, you know, where are you going? You know, if you ever had a horse, you'd have trouble riding it. Really? Oh, yeah. If it's bareback, I ride very good. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. That's a lot. Bareback. Yeah, bareback. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Ex yeah, excellent yeah. rider. He I wears have to tell Levi's. you right now, you're totally lying. <laughs> no, I'm not. The closest a, thing no, you've been to a bareback horse is uh, 1976 Chelsea, and her name was Oopla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for Holy you. Holy smokes. Oh yeah! It's One last guys. story, Louis Applebaum. Tell us a great story of your uh, of a ride in no, your cab. Is Wait there man, any truth to uh, uh, Oates, the hockey player, being in your cab? Hold that thought for one sec. You're next to ride on Amsterdam. Get a caller. Hey, it's me again. You guys, uh, are you guys trying to figure out who's on the phone? Reminds me of four gay guys in a bathhouse in San Francisco figuring out. Who's junk is touching whose foot? <laughs> well, we're so happy you had a flashback. <laughs> Jesus. I nice. had no idea. Nice. A couple, okay. couple other things. Uh, I meant to mention this about Louis. You want to know what kind of hat this guy has? He, he acts like a tough guy sometimes, but I catch him the other day. We were together in the same place, and uh, I hear him on the phone. This is actually two different times. One time he's ordering a calzone and a <laughs> and something a salad or something for his mom. Or so many days a week, it's, you know, stuff stuff that a lot of people don't do. And the right. other thing was, I heard him on the phone arguing with somebody about the care of his mother. <laughs> and you know what? Right. That makes him. That you know, you can tell a lot about a guy who wants to stand up and not walk away from the difficult times and take care of his mother. Exactly. So, I give I give Louie all the kudos. He's not perfect, but I give him all the kudos. Uh, and finally, hey, 
stop stop telling me Greek like it's a Greek holiday on that thing and Greeks run the world. There's a long line of there's a long line of Greeks that are really effed up too. Don't, don't forget. Go on. I'll talk to you later. The only club open is the Pericles for Granola. Go on. Oh jeez. What am I what am I locker? Went too far that time, Mike. Went too far. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, that was boy though. There's been a lot of great cab fares, yeah. but you know it's um, it's usually after midnight. It's usually X rated, but uh, I, can't, the... I can't pick out one story. You know, no, but what about is there a did Oates actually be in your car? That hockey player, Adam Oates? the Bruins, Adam Oates. Well, he might have been watching a friend of his perform on the corner of Lowell and Elm, named Chad Lamarsh. I mean, I don't want to go any yeah. further there into the go. rumor mill, there but you, you know, there's a lot. Of, we used to have a club here, the Front Runner in town. Yeah. I mean, I have to occasionally go in and get a fare, and I don't like to disclose who gets into my car or no. what transpires. I don't, I don't but blame you. you know, I don't Adam, blame you. O, there's been a lot. Uh, Lenny Clark was in my cab. There've been a lot of people in my cab. Holland right? Oates. Um, yeah, no. Uh, no, no, it's no. different. <laughs> the guy I want in the cab is Sandler. You know yeah. Sandler? Yeah, he graduates up. 82, gets 20 million a flick, class clown. Leaving. I graduate 77, class clown, 20,000 a year. Yeah. He's got a Jew mother. If I had had a Jew mother, I would have had a shot at this. But I'm hey, glad that yeah. my mother's a great I got, I, I got had a, to go to NYC. I'm then. really close to, I'm really I mean, close to a Jewish guy. He's This guy <laughs> right here, one of the most... One of the most uh, I got a great unsuccessful uh, Jews. No I, oh, no, no call. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, furthest uh, um, um, cab, uh, a ride uh, from my... I took a guy down to New Bedford one time at 4.30 in the morning. You know, he had a brick of money, peeled off 2.40. You know, he had long nails. I can't imagine what kind of work he was in, but when I got <laughs> down there... You know, I mean, <laughs> Was it it's been a lot of long trips, man. I took a heart once to Maine Medical. I got the, 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 the ambassador of the cab business, Jerry Mandelbaum, who has an airport service in town. He goes, come here, I got a buck fifty for you. I need you to bring this up to Maine Medical. He's got a cooler. There's a heart in there. He goes, you got to be there in two hours. Yeah. He had me go up to Dartmouth a few times, pick up a team of hosts of um, doctors coming there to do a surgery. Yeah. The cabs help out in a lot of ways. It's not all people that are imbibing. Right. There's a lot of different uh, features of the cab. Exactly. Amazing, Lou. I'm going to tell you, thanks for coming on. You're welcome anytime. I wish I could have another hour to talk to you, but uh, we got we to gotta let, we gotta let it Wrap out. it up. We got to wrap it up. Thanks for having me. T's from Manchester. Anytime. I'd be here. I'm, Thank you. No problem. Next week, um, most uh, big announcement, uh, running for Alderman 12. Peter, wrap it up. All right, that's Amsterdam for tonight. I'll see you next week. <laughs>